everybody. Welcome to the Wednesday Wire. I'm Carrie Gallagher. We're diving right in. Let's talk about the top news. Right out of the White House, Trump's executive order to keep meat plants open isn't making everybody too happy, especially the people who work at the meat plants and they have a high risk of getting the coronavirus because they're touching other people who've got it and all the meat's got it and it's getting a little nuts. However, he does have one person in his corner and that's Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds who says that it's essential, critical, to keep meat plant processes open. Uh, and you know what else they say in Iowa? What are vegetables? Uh, is cheese a vegetable? Well, how come I can't see my feet when I stand up? Oh, and everyone's favorite, where are all the black people? That's just Iowa on any day of the week. And of course, white women are not faring well during this horrendous pandemic. Everyone's complaining about their roots. And for those of you who don't know what roots are, it's when women's natural hair color grows out and it kind of just looks like someone took a brown or gray Sharpie marker right there to the top of your head. And a lot of women, especially us blondies out there, are kind of freaking out because, well, there's a long list of things you cannot do when you have roots. And number one on that list is, uh, okay, you can't be on Fox News. Uh, I don't know that that's a horrible thing, um, but this is a long list. So let's see what's number two. Okay, so if you've got roots, you can't date a frat bro. Um, that's not anything I'm missing out on, but uh, all right, it's a long list and that's the end of the list. So why don't we stop being pansies, put on our big girl pants and just get through this pandemic, all right? Up next, we've got sports. Last week, everybody was glued to their television to see the NFL draft and Cliff Kingsbury stole the show with his uh, war room in Paradise Valley. Uh, it's a shame that uh, having a nice house doesn't equate to having a winning record. 5, 10, and one tie, Cliff. Hopefully you can pick it up this season. And according to some reports, Major League Baseball might be back in June. But the Astros players aren't too happy about it. They're scared of getting thrown at. So they're still holding up at their childhood homes, sheltering in place in their childhood bedrooms, surrounded by all the posters of their great heroes and everyone they looked up to, like Jose Canseco and Mark McGuire and everyone's favorite A-Rod. <coughs> all cheaters. <coughs> all cheaters. <coughs> But uh, I know for one, I'm looking forward to baseball coming back because I miss peanuts and Cracker Jacks and it would be great to have those alongside all of the beer I'm consuming. Pop culture, things are going on in pop culture. We've got the Magnolia Network, of course, Chip and Joanna Gaines, their new project, unfortunately is put on hold because of the coronavirus. And uh, I, for one, am, am not missing out on this because during a pandemic, we know one thing that can't help and that's ship laugh. So why don't you guys stay in your lane? Trolls World Tour, a new movie, a new cartoon geared for families is starting to make movie theaters a little bit nervous. Uh, the big movie was just launched to all digital household platforms and there was incredible success, lots of downloads, families everywhere enjoyed it. And so movie theaters are a little bit nervous. Um, I myself don't really know anything about the Trolls movie franchise. In fact, I thought it was about four evil men trying to take over the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, that actually kind of looks like Donnie's hair there. It looks pretty good. It looks good. Now, if there's one thing all of us humans know for sure is that we are holed up in our houses. It's starting to get a little bit claustrophobic. Um, but you know what? Nature doesn't quarantine. And I'm excited to say that we've got a live report from one of our favorite bees, Apis dorsata. And... Uh, Hey Apis, thanks for uh, thanks for coming on the Wednesday Wire. How's it been going for all the insects out there during the pandemic? Well, first of all, there are a lot of insects. You can't just group all of us together and assume we're all having the same exact experience, okay? We are different. Read a book. Also, uh, thanks for having me. 
Uh, you're welcome and my sincerest apologies. Uh, so how has COVID-19 specifically oh, affected sucks. you? This time of year, I'm usually messing with the outfielders, hiding in people's soda cans, ruining picnics, you know, the usual. But all the humans are sheltering in place, so it's been hard. Yeah, APIS, you know, it's, it's hard for us humans too. We're used to being connected, seeing each other. Ugh. Do what? Whoa. Outback delivers blooming onions, and there's never-ending content to watch and stream. Gosh, like us bees, we're the ones suffering. Okay. No one, and I mean no one, is talking about our dwindling population anymore because of this pandemic. We've got other things we going need on. More ventilators. We need more tests. It is very hard to be a bee right now. Well, point taken. I believe you, Apis. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to once the pandemic is over? You're the worst. I can't wait for all of the carb-loaded fatties to leave their homes, stuffed with sugar and white flour. <laughs> They'll never be able to outrun me. Uh, also, thanks for having me. Well, folks, and uh, that just goes to show you that all bees are dicks. Yeah, and um, yeah. All right, why don't you go find someone to bother? Before we wrap up, folks, we've got our garbage and gold for the week. In garbage, we've got Vice President Mike Pence, who decided to tour Minnesota's Mayo Clinic, Clinic without a face mask, despite the fact that that is a standard policy across the entire facility. Uh, but no worries, uh, genderless evil robots cannot be infected by the coronavirus. Uh, and gold for the week, wow. This cutie, his name is Callahan McLaughlin, and instead of selling lemonade, he decided to open up a drive-by joke stand. And I, for one, will be reaching out to him to see if he's got some bandwidth to write for my show. Well, there you have it. That is another Wednesday Wire in the books. Thanks for watching, everybody. You can follow me at KG Comedy. And thanks again to Broken Drift for Productions for hosting this fun little show each week. Take care and be safe.